Hailey Bieber is a hot topic these days because of her recent drama with Selena Gomez, and slowly she's becoming one of the most resented people in the world. But what's the real reason behind the hostility targeted against her, and is it even slightly justified? The first point which has to be addressed is Hailey's relationship with Justin, and her rumoured involvement in the fallout of Jelena, also known as the ship name of Justin and Selena. Jelena's relationship was a turbulent one where they kept breaking up and reuniting. Their last attempt to save their relationship started in November 2017. Little did they know that their relationship would last only four months. In March 2018, they called it quits. Interestingly, Justin wasn't heartbroken for long. Only three months after his breakup with Selena, he reunited with Hayley. The new couple moved on quickly and after a proposal, they tied the knot at the courthouse in September of 2018. But the quick progression of Hayley and Justin's relationship had raised many eyebrows, and soon followed accusations that Hayley is the villain in Jelena's love story. Some people believe that Hayley's plan to steal Justin from Selena was supposed to start in 2014. According According to rumours, Gigi Hadid, Kendall Jenner and Cody Simpson took Selena to Dubai to spend New Year's Eve there. It was a plot to supposedly get Selena out of the picture so Hayley could be with Justin. The fans, to support their theory, shared a TikTok of Kendall Jenner when she was asked if it was her first trip to Dubai. In the video, Kendall is clearly saying, my first two times were horrible, which people interpreted as a dig at Selena. Well, it was really convenient to have your greatest rival on the other side of the world. After that, Justin and Hayley were often seen together and in 2016, Hayley confirmed that they were in a relationship. The catch was that it was only a casual one, and it lasted a few months. With Hayley out of the picture, Justin returned to Selena in 2017, but their relationship was far from ideal. Soon, it was reported that Jelena joined the couple's therapy to try and save their relationship from the inevitable end. And the reason was Hayley Bieber. According to rumours, Justin tried to talk to Hayley to clear the air between them after their not-so-pretty breakup. Justin was supposed to tell Selena that it was part of his new approach to life. Selena had a reason to get suspicious, as Justin already admitted that he cheated on Selena when he compared his life to a road, where he always met beautiful women and got himself in trouble. In 2020, Hayley said in an interview about their getting back together, people don't know, too. We'd been talking for a while before we got back together. But in the same breath, she insisted that both of them were already single when they started to talk about their relationship. What's more, Hayley claimed that not long after the wedding, she talked to Selena and there is only respect and love between the two women. While Hayley says that it all went well between her and Selena, Jelena shippers keep comparing them. And the result is that Hayley is often accused of trying hard to be Selena, which is quite a reach, to be honest. But simple things such as similar outfits to tattoos and responses in interviews, people have a lot to point out. Recently, Hayley introduced her new cooking show, What's in My Kitchen, and immediately got accused of stealing ideas from Gomez as Selena had her own cooking show, Selena and Chef, where she invites famous chefs. She also made a similar comment as Selena. Yes, we are in my real kitchen, in my real house. This is not a set, this is where I really live. While Selena said, this is my real home, everything that we're doing is at home, this is my amazing kitchen which is the set. This might have been a simple coincidence though and once again, a reach. Another similarity is their responses about maturing and their self-image. Selena in Same Old Love sings about how she doesn't have to have the body shape that she had at 19 years old. Hayley said something very similar in the podcast, I'm not 19 anymore, I'm 24 now, I feel like my body has changed. What actually looks pretty strange is Hayley's G tattoo, which is behind her ear. Unsurprisingly, Selena has one G tattoo herself, which is dedicated to her sister Grace. The tattoos were placed on the same spot behind their ears, and even the font is similar. People have noticed, and when Hayley was asked about the meaning of her tattoo, she said that the G stands for Georgia, her pastor's daughter. The girl was diagnosed with an incurable brain cancer. What's more, Justin has this tattoo as well for the same reason. Another thing which Selena's fans find suspicious is Hayley's J tattoo. According to them, the tattoo is supposed to look like Selena's promise ring from Justin. Now, these fans claim that Hayley's obsession with Selena doesn't seem to have boundaries. Let's be honest, almost everybody was checking different profiles to be updated about recent activities of their rivals at some point. But the golden rule is to not get caught. Unfortunately, Hayley was not only caught, but exposed. In 2018, not long after her private wedding with Justin, Hayley was checking a fan account dedicated to Selena. She followed the account by mistake and immediately hit hit the unfollow button, but it was too late, and the owner of the account noticed. Hayley wrote them a DM saying that she followed the account by accident and that she was sorry. But accidents like these go far back to the times that she had an eye on her future husband. Hayley was actually a fan of Justin. One of Justin's fans claimed that she and Hayley bonded over their shared love of Justin. The fan
fan joked that Hayley was the lucky one who tied the knot with the singer and that she can't get a guy. According to another fan, Hayley asked her in her DMs to reveal Justin's hotel address. Hayley's alleged shading didn't stop with Selena, as some people claim that she also targeted Selena's best friend. An old video with Hayley resurfaced, and this time it was a video from Drop the Mic, where she made a gagged motion after Taylor Swift was mentioned. After that, she kept looking into the camera straight-faced. The creator of the TikTok called Hayley a mean girl and added some snake emojis. To make the situation worse, Selena, a long-term friend of Taylor, commented on the video that her best friend is one of the best people in the game. Taylor and Hayley never had a public feud, but Hayley made it clear that she doesn't belong in Taylor's fandom. Proof might be in her interview where she said that she doesn't understand Taylor Swift's squad, and that it might be unnecessary to create a squad that is public. Another dig at Taylor is a video of Justin and Hayley mocking Taylor. In the video, Justin shouts, it's not the banana I wanted, it has no head, and Hayley laughs. According to social media, it was clearly an imitation of Taylor from the time after her laser eye surgery. Taylor never made any comment on the issues, as she's probably just busy planning her tour. The recent drama between Hayley and Selena had Selena's fans throwing accusations of body shaming at Hayley. Gomez posted photos in a bikini while she was on vacation. Those pics resulted in large discourse about her gaining weight. Everyone had a piece of their mind to share, and Hayley was seemingly one of those people. She shared a TikTok where she, together with Kendall Jenner and Justin Skye, lip-synced to the viral audio. I'm not saying she deserved it, but God's timing is always right. Selena's fans took the video as a dig towards Selena and her recent weight gain, and Hayley was under attack by angry fans. Following all the hateful comments, Hayley deleted the TikTok and explained that she never comments on things of which she was accused, and it was only a random sound, which they did for fun. Gomez commented on the incident in one video where she said that she will not let things like that get her down, and asked people to be nice to everyone. But the accusation against Hayley didn't stop there. Recently, Hayley's past come back to haunt her as her past tweets are resurfacing. She is accused of being racist and xenophobic. One of her tweets, which is supposed to be from 2012, said, Shut up before I smack you back to your country. But Hayley continued in 2013, and she wrote, To those foreigners who don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so sorry your country didn't have pilgrims and Indians to start such a sick holiday. Hayley's mean girl status was slowly developing for some time. Besides her beef with Selena, Hayley got exposed as a very rude customer. In 2020, a hostess, Julia Carolan, created a series of TikToks where she talked about meeting A-list celebrities that went viral. According to Julia, she met Hayley several times, but none of those experiences were pleasant. Hayley commented on that video that she was really sorry that she gave Julia bad vibes or a bad attitude. A year later, after the video was posted, Hayley shared an interview where she mentioned the incident and she said, There's never an excuse for being rude. I felt bad that that was her experience with me, but it made me kind of frustrated because you never know what someone's going through. And the last straw for people is Hayley's alleged commitment to never serve. Being a Nepo baby in Hollywood is supposedly a difficult job, as you always have to have attention on you. With recent discourse about nepotism in the industry, Hayley decided to wear a white t shirt with Nepo baby written on it. It's nice that she actually is aware of her privilege, but people didn't take it as it was probably intended. Many people called the fit boring, and then it gave nothing because the whole thing was staged. And that's not the first time something like that has happened. But while some people are calling her out for her boring outfits, she's still called a fashion icon because, after all, everything is about personal preferences. So what do you think about Hayley Bieber? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.